Hey y'all, so I am walking out of the woods from my morning hunt and I had two of the craziest things happen to me this morning so I wanted to share those with y'all. Uh, my way in, it was still clearly very dark and I had my headlamp on and I kept feeling like I heard something following me um, which is just not a great feeling to have when you can't see outside. I kept checking, thinking, you know, I'd at least see eyes with my headlamp if there was anything. Never saw anything, never saw anything, thought I'd check one more time. Uh, and I looked back to my right, and there was a fork buck <laughs> literally following me. Um, I think he was a little confused as to, yes, I am a female and the rut is on, but I am not a deer. <laughs> and he circled me. Um, I just stopped and watched him, and he circled me um, about like a probably like 12 to 15 yard radius around me um, and then just casually went on about his business so that was odd I've never had a deer do that before and then I actually saw a pretty large buck uh, chasing a doe came out of nowhere looked like a horse running through the woods never experienced that before um, a buck actually chasing that hard I guess I've just never <clears throat> really hunted when the rut has been like picking up like this because I really didn't even see that at all last year when I was hunting claw. So I got my shooting stick set up, got my gun up on the, my gun here, up on my shooting sticks, safety off, um, and he was just running like crazy circles, zigzagging, wasn't uh, staying still long enough for me to even try to figure out how big he was. And I had all these thoughts going through my head about you know, is he old enough? Is he big enough? Um, is it one that I want to take? Or as we're trying to manage the deer around here, is that one that I should let walk? Literally all of these thoughts are going through my head. Don't breathe on the scope. You don't want to fog it up. Um, and then I hear another deer start blowing and bleeding and it was definitely a doe and then they both ran off um, before I was able to determine if I even wanted to shoot him. So it literally happened in probably about five seconds flat um, and it was just something that I had never experienced before uh, and it was a good learning experience but something that I know I'm already going to get crap about uh, back at home for not shooting but I just want to encourage everybody out there that is hunting that if you don't feel confident in your shot or you don't feel like you have a good shot opportunity it is okay to not take it it's better to be uh, cautious and be confident in your shot that you're taking an ethical shot on an animal versus rushing anything so I hope that y'all are prepared when that horse of a buck or a doe comes running through the woods no matter what you're hunting antlers or just meat for the freezer and wishing y'all the best of luck this season